Uh, you've all taken the mandatory fugitive tracking course at no small expense to the taxpayers, so let's get out there and show them that their money's hard at work. You'll be broken into field teams. Each team will have one search manager and four armed officers. Now remember, a search is like a classic mystery. You're all detectives here today. You're not just looking for a fugitive. You're looking for clues to where he might be hiding. Well, let me remind you, this man is a violent felon. You capture him, your name will be a local legend. Every good father in Cascade County will tell his son about how you captured a cold-blooded killer right here in our own backyard. Find your search and rescue managers. Good luck. How'd they do? Made me want to join the hunt. Well, I can't have that, but thanks for the offer. We'll start with a hasty search of the trailheads and branching points. You know these trails better than anybody around here. What kind of chance we got? Here we are. And the valley runs north-south below us. There's no pass through the east of those mountains. And to the west, you've got roadblocks all the way down Cedar Pass. It means he can only go north or south. Well, he'll probably head south down into Mosley. Whichever way, we set up a five-mile containment area. He's got no way out. He just doesn't know it yet. OK, boys, let's bring him in. In 1564, Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. I'm gonna go looking for aliens in this logging camp all alone, you're wrong. Even if they are disguised as mail order brides. Eddie, stop! Copper spot, I mean some diner at Cedar Pass. Hold on. For Christ's sake, the whole state of Montana's breathing down my neck. They got dogs! What kind of dogs? I don't know, I'm not stopping to pet them, Eddie! Keep your head, Kate, we're gonna get through this. A good search dog's cross trained to follow a trail on the ground or in the air. How do I lose them? You can't, you can only slow them down. What's the vegetation like around you? Uh, grass, shrubs, pine needles. All right, all right. Tear up the area. Crush plant cells. Turn up new bacteria in the ground. Second, uh, I need to get out of here. Uh, the dog's gonna stop to scratch and sniff, and then call me. I'll check the maps. Thanks, Eddie. Listen, if I don't make it. No, you're gonna make it. Just get a move on. <sighs> Back an Apache helicopter to stand by for emergency medical evacuation, in case we have any injuries. Sheriff Hannock, Deputy U.S. Marshal Joshua Bridges. Marshal Service in Butte sent me to offer my help. I specialize in tactical combat tracking. I appreciate any help I can get, Marshal. Then you can appreciate this. On the road in, I passed two hikers. They spotted their fugitive moving south, right here. Makes sense. Jody Nolan. Department of Forestry. Oh, pleasure to meet you, man. If he heads north, there's nothing but wilderness. He'll die without provisions. May I make a suggestion? Sure. Have the field teams form an open grid line search, running at 50% probability of detection. Staying behind the fugitive and driving him down the valley to here. And to Mosley. Might work. Call Chief Harper at Mosley. Go ahead and have his men see off the valley. Okay. You're like flushing a rabbit out of a hole in the trap wing. 
I'm going to clear out now, if you don't mind. Make sure there's no hikers or campers stuck up in the valley and might wander into the manhunt. I don't think that's a very good idea. Hey, they're my responsibility. I've done everything I can do here. All right, you stay north. Radio me if there's any problem. All right. Why'd they stop? They scuffed up the area. Smart move. Can they pick up a scent? It's normally peaceful valley we got here. I came back from the big city to get away from this activity. Kind of got a taste for the hunt myself. Mind if I join up with the field teams down below? Not at all. Hey, Marshal. I'm the one who spotted him, you know? Kate yeah. Foster. Really? That's right. At Nick's Tavern, sitting at the counter cool as the morning eating steak and eggs. Maybe we'll receive a medal. Maybe, maybe. Hey. I got a cousin with Marshall's service up in Butte. You might know him, Bob Crowley. I'm on temporary assignment from Florida. Now, see, that figures. Because, see, I was thinking winters are probably a mite cold for you boys up here. Which boys would that be? You know, you colored boys. Heard your thermal regularity can't tolerate the higher elevations. Is that what you heard now? Maybe I'll call Bob and tell him I met an up north winterized black man. I can't shake them! Listen to me, you can. They're animals. You can outthink them. Where are you? I just hit a river. A Carson River. Which way now? I intercepted transmission from the forward operating base. Search party formed a gauntlet moving south. You gotta figure a way to slip past them, then move north. I can't hear you too well. The reception's no good. But the cell's gonna die when you get into the woods. Okay, if you stick to the west side of the river, you come to a fire road about six miles ahead. I'll meet you there. Just stay with the river. Don't you be late, buddy. What if he went in the water? Doesn't matter. Dogs will pick up his scent. Just give him a minute.
They got a scent. Okay, move out. Put them on. I won't repeat myself. You know, Marshal, I recognize you. You've got the preacher down at the compound. Stand up. Subject 117. The specimen who got away. You look kind of small to me. Put the gun down, I'll show you how small. <laughs> Too late for that. What, more experiments? They intend to cut you open. Of course they do. Well, we'll determine what makes you such a formidable adversary. Then we'll root out others like you and remove them from the population. You want to know what made me such a formidable adversary? You did. You bastards created me when you murdered my wife. Start walking. Where are they headed? They're headed away from us. Into the Southern Valley. I sent the search teams there looking for you. How'd you know I'd go north? Go south was a trap. I didn't believe you'd walk into a trap. We should cut through the forest. This trail's dangerous. Stay on the trail. <clears throat> Stand up. These leg chains are cutting into my ankles. They prefer you alive, but they'll take you dead.
bleed like us. Does it hurt? Good. Just don't die. I was careless. You were beaten. Get used to it. I made a mistake. Welcome to the human race. I'm not a human. I'm Gua. Yeah, well, whatever the hell you are, you're screwed. The cops see the smoke from this fire. I'll hand your ass over and I'll clear my name. You have an emotional need for vengeance. Did you say that? But you have the will to overcome it or you would have killed me already. Well, I'm smarter than your average lab rat. I underestimated you. Story in my life. She didn't underestimate you. And who would that be? Your wife, Anna. I know everything about you. You shut your mouth. And Anna. You mention her again, and I will kill you. She said she would hunt us down. Before we took her life. Do you want to know how it was done? Do it. I'm not like you bastards. You gua. Now I think it's time I got some questions answered. This is an old Earth tradition, in case you're not familiar with it. Called rubbing salt in the wound. Extremely painful. Now. <clears throat> How many of you are there on our planet? You're wasting your time. Wrong answer. Foster, did he slip by you? I don't know, Sheriff. Maybe. The dogs had him. We were nipping at his heels. All right, Ryan, relax. Take the dogs back to the last known point. See if they can pick up the scent. Yes, sir. All right, back to Pine Ridge. The rescue search managers contain formation to keep moving down the valley. If we get lucky, we might make it home for dinner. Where are you hiding? I need to take a team over to the uh, north area of the ravine. Copy that. Over. Graham, I see smoke. It's probably campers. They're outside the primary search area. It's not safe during manhunt. Take your team and go clear them out. We're on our way. tell you what I think of your plan. It's like paradise. The salt. This 
green like this, my planet. The cumulus belt around my home prevents photosynthesis. You can't even feel that. It's the salt. You react to the salt like it's morphine. Everything in my planet. It's red. The color of a tired sun. The color of death. Where is your planet? In a past lifetime. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, stay with me here now. Where are you from? Cluster of galaxies, nearly a billion light years away. That's impossible. It would take lifetimes to get here. We send our consciousness through white holes we create in space. In these, right? You send your minds through in these, but you steal our bodies. I've seen the lab where you grow them. I know. You held that in your hand before. You traded it for your friend's life. You? It was your consciousness I found. I keep it to remind me. How close I came to death. Our paths are destined to cross. I'm not gonna bust you this time. Just get back on the trail and head down to Cedar Pass. There's police that'll take care of you until this blows over. It's healing. How does that happen so fast? We put our own DNA strand into your human bodies. To make them better. Good. You'll be alive when the police get here. I shouldn't bring the police here. And why is that? Because I'll be forced to kill them. Why does it always have to come down to killing with you, huh? I'm an acolyte. An assassin. How long have you been here? Too long. This is my third body. Three bodies. Three lifetimes. How much blood do you have on your hands? Our planet's dying. If we don't expand, we'll die with it. You've lived all this time as a human. Walked in our shoes. Been part of us. Are we that easy to kill? I never said it was easy. Sometimes I have... reservations about our mission. Then you're a coward. At least we take a stand against things we don't believe in. 
I believe in Gua. We were like you once. There was a time for peace and inner growth. But we became complacent. And when the invasion force landed, they took us down. One rebel led us to freedom. That's when we took the name Gua. It means power to overcome. Over the centuries, science and industry achieved perfect focus. We created a military machine to ensure our freedom. Permanently. So your own planet was taken over once. And now you want to take over ours to complete the cycle. You're not warriors. You're victims. We're here because we'll never be victims again. Well, look at you now. Don't move! Drop, or I'll drop you! I want to turn myself in. I'm gonna put the gun down now, okay? Just, just take it easy. On your knees. On your knees. Clasp your hands behind your head. U.S. Marshal Joshua Bridges. He's not a marshal. This fugitive has been holding me hostage. Don't believe him. Don't move, or I'll shoot. Cover me and I'll secure him. Don't let him pick up the gun. He'll shoot you with it. I said, don't move. <laughs> <laughs> Butch! Butch, are you okay? Move. Come on. Uh. I sighted the fugitive and the marshal after Butch got hit. It all happened so fast, Sheriff. Slow down. Who shot first? Well, the fugitive, I guess, when he went for the marshal's rifle. Well, when you fill out your report, deputy, you don't guess. You know. The marshal found him. Son of a gun's one hell of a tracker. Yeah, well, he's a hostage now. All right, hold on. Medical help's coming. The rest of you, we've been had. We're on a bastard search. Radio your coordinates so we can airlift you out. Be careful. The fugitive is now armed and dangerous. I warned you not to bring the police. You're just a regular good Samaritan, aren't you? You risked your life to save them. They were trying to kill you. They were trying to kill a wanted murderer. You're their only hope for survival. Yet they salivated the prospect of tasting your blood. They don't know what they're doing. Even if you could prove your innocence, they would never believe your claim about us. They'd rather put you on a cross, Foster, and hammer nails through the palms of your hands. You haven't learned anything about us yet, have you? Before you condemn me for violence, you should take a look at your own world. I chose to be black this time, and have faced the violence of your culture every day. I never said we were perfect. Oppression is easy. Fighting against it is hard. At least we try. Sometimes I do get tired of the death we bring to this planet. Well, then stop it. I can't. Don't move! I'm with the Department of Forestry, man. I'm just checking the trail for hikers. Marshal, are you all right? Shut up! I'm not going to hurt you, but I got no time to explain now. We need to find somewhere to hide. There's an emergency shelter down on Pine Ridge. Good. Let's go. Move! We recovered a body, Jim, by Lanning Falls. It's Crowley. Somebody broke his neck. Well, how did the fugitive get up to Cedar Pass anyway? It doesn't make sense. I don't know. We got roadblocks all up and down the highway. I'm beginning to think that he's not alone. I need you to redouble your efforts. You stop every car, every driver that looks at all out of place. Is that clear? Gotcha, Jim. Anyone suspicious?
Stop. All right. Sit down. What's your name? Jody. Jody, see if you can find us any water. They're all over out there looking for you. They're gonna find you eventually. They might go easy if you turned yourself in now. I tried that and they shot at me. Here, put it here. Stop! What is wrong with you? you stay away from him or you'll become one of his statistics. I just wanted to take a look at his wound. I have emergency medical training. He's hurt. Oh, yeah. He's hurt. Lift up your shirt. Lift it! I, I don't understand. Where's all that blood from? A little while ago, he had a hunk of wood sticking through his gut. And you expect me to believe that? No, I don't. But it's the truth. Don't upset him. Just go along with what he says. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. This is not going to... No, no, not this time. This... This... is not a U.S. Marshal. Why don't you just let her go? You have me. Why don't I just blow your knee off, huh? Whoa, 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 calm down, all right? Why don't you tell me? If he's not a marshal, who is he? He's part of the first wave of extraterrestrials. They look just like us, except they're stronger, faster, and maybe even smarter, although I'm not entirely convinced on that last point yet. Anything else you want to know, Jody? Okay, Kate, I believe you. Now, why don't you put the gun down? You want proof? Believe the unbelievable. Search party one, come in, please. Search party one here, over. I need you to take your team over to cover the western slope of the ravine. Copy that. Over. Where are you headed? Uh, Glacier Park. I'm, uh, I'm a naturalist. You don't eat much like a naturalist. Well, you're thinking about the naturalist who uh, eats granola and hugs trees and... Uh... You see, I'm, I'm, I'm a naturalist in the sense of being a uh, nudist. I've got a place up north, deep in the woods, where I can just let it all hang out. It's a quiet little place, really. Lots of volleyball. Go on. So you're telling me that he's an alien. You know how that sounds. Yeah, I know. If I can get him to the authorities, I can prove it. You know what? I'm not even going to try and pretend that I know what's going on here. But why don't you let me call Sheriff Haddock and arrange for you to turn yourself in? I told you I tried that. 
A cop got shot. They think I'm holding a U.S. Marshal hostage here. Then let me radio the Department of Forestry. My chief goes way back with Haddock. All right. I can't get a signal in here. Well, then help me stop it. I respect your fight against us. You fight with... Wah. Power to overcome. But your one-man war... It won't make a difference. Maybe not. I'm not gonna give up trying. The second wave is closer than you think. It's like a thunderstorm rolling over the hills, and it can't be stopped. You can already hear the rumblings. And what makes you so sure we can't stop it? Because the Gua operates as one unit. You're all hopelessly divided into millions of individuals. It's called free will. It's what makes us human. Oh, when they find out about you, they'll pull together. I'm a witness to your history. I'm telling you. They won't. He's on his way. He's gonna radio the sheriff when he gets here and uh, they'll arrange for you to give yourself up peacefully. Okay. They were just here. Ridge. All right. Somebody who's running from somebody is always running somewhere. Where would you be going, Mr. Foster? Bingo. All search units converge on the old ranger cabin, Pine Ridge. Where the hell's your chief? I don't know. He should have been here by now. All right. All right, get back in the cabin. I don't want you getting hurt. No. Kate, I know the marching orders. If the fugitive is armed, shoot to kill. You gotta give me the gun. No gun, you've got no hostages. I can't do that. Come on, they know me.
She was sent as my backup. You were easier to control, believing she was your ally. But why? Why are you doing this for me? I did it for myself. Kill my wife. You're lucky to be alive, Marshal. Yes, I am. I'm on a journey. A journey to find believers. Today I found one where I never dreamed possible. Did Joshua murder my wife? I don't know if I could live with that knowledge. But I might have to find a way, because if I ever hope to win this war, I need someone inside the enemy camp. I need Joshua.